Hello everyone, I am Raj Kumar Singh. Today I will discuss on variational method and its application to one dimension harmonic oscillator. Variational method is one of the approximation method in quantum mechanics. The variational method finds application in such quantum system where Hamiltonian is known but they cannot be solved exactly or by the perturbation method. It is quite helpful in determining the ground state energy and ion function. Here we find the upper bond values for the given ion values of the system for which Hamiltonian is known but there is no information about its ion value and ion state. Main idea is to look for a trial function depending on a variational parameter considering the physical properties of the ground state or excited state. Some of the typical properties of the ground state are symmetries, continuity, convergence at infinity, etc. Through the expectation value expression, energy is expressed as function of the ion function. Since ion function is function of the variational parameter, therefore this energy is also function of the variational parameter. Now, Energy is varied with respect to the variational parameter to obtain the energy minimum. This way we get the value of variational parameter for which energy is minimum. Using this value of the variational parameter, we find the value of minimum energy from the expression of energy expressed as function of variational parameter. Again, this value of variational parameter is used to find the ion function for the given state through the selected trial function. The amplitude. Now let us apply this variational method to determine the ground state as well as the first excited state energy and wave function for one dimension harmonic oscillator. We will first consider the ground state. We have to follow certain guidelines for selection of trial function in the ground state. The ground state wave function must be even and smooth everywhere. It must vanish at x equal to plus infinity and minus infinity. And of course, it must not have any node. All these criteria fit well into the Gaussian function. This Gaussian function is expressed with one of the variational parameter x as psi naught x alpha equal to c1 exponential minus half alpha x square where this alpha is the variational parameter and it accounts for the width of the Gaussian function. The amplitude of the Gaussian function is c1 which can be determined from the normalization condition of the ground state wave function. We go for that and we have this integral minus infinity to plus infinity c1 square exponential minus alpha x square dx equal to 1. c1 square out of the integral sign and rest of the integral is a standard integral whose value within the limit minus infinity to plus infinity is pi by alpha that is to the power half. So we have c1 equal to alpha by pi raised to the power 1 by 4. This is the amplitude of the Gaussian function. Now we expressed the ground state energy in terms of ground state wave function which is the trial function psi naught x alpha using the expectation value for energy. In the denominator we have the expression which is basically standing for the normalization of the wave function and since it is 1 we have simplified expression for E naught as function of alpha is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity psi naught which is function of x alpha h the Hamiltonian operator psi naught x alpha dx. Now in this integral we put the expression for the Hamiltonian operator which is in case of one dimension linear harmonic oscillator minus h cross square by 2 mu d2 by dx square plus half mu omega square x square. Then we write 
the expression for the trial wave function psi naught x alpha and solve this integral to obtain finally expression for e naught as function of alpha. This is equal to 1 by 4 within the bracket h cross square alpha by mu plus omega square mu by alpha. This way we have an expression for energy E naught alpha. Now for this energy to be minimum, we put dou by dou alpha of E naught alpha equal to 0. In the next line, we write the expression for energy E naught alpha, differentiate this whole expression with respect to alpha and we get an expression for alpha that is alpha equal to omega mu by h cross. Therefore, the energy minimum will be obtained by using this value of alpha in the expression for energy minimum that is in the previous slide in this box E naught alpha equal to 1 by 4 and within the bracket h cross square alpha by mu plus omega square mu by alpha. So putting the value of alpha and solving it we get expression for energy in the ground state that is E naught equal to half h cross omega. This is the ground state energy of the oscillator. Now using the value of alpha so obtained in the expression for psi naught that is the ground state wave function we obtain expression for the ground state wave function psi naught x equal to c1 exponential minus half alpha x square. From there we get this expression for ground state wave function psi naught x. Now we will go for the first excited state. Again here we have to select a trial wave function. In the first excited state the trial wave function must be odd. It must vanish at x equal to plus infinity and minus infinity. It must have only one node and it must be orthogonal to psi naught x. With all these guidelines in mind, we have this expression for trial wave function psi naught psi 1 function of x and beta. Here we have taken beta as the variational parameter instead of alpha. So psi 1 x beta equal to c2 x exponential minus half beta x square. Now again from the normalization condition, we obtain the expression for c2 which is the amplitude of the ion function in the first excited state and this time it is given by this expression in this rectangular box. Now variational first excited state energy value is given through the expression for expectation value of E1 expressed as function of beta. When we put the values of psi1 and the Hamiltonian and solve it, we get E1 beta equal to 3 by 4 bracket beta h cross square by mu plus mu omega square by beta. Now for E1 beta to be minimum, we put this differentiation equal to 0 which is dou by dou beta of E1 beta. This is equal to 0. So solving this we get an expression for beta that is beta equal to omega mu by h cross. Incidentally this is similar to that of alpha in the ground state. And using this value of beta in the expression for E1 we get the value of energy minimum E1 equal to 3 by 2 h cross omega and the corresponding variational first excited state wave function becomes after using the values of beta and c2 we have this expression for c psi 1 that is the wave function in the first excited state of one dimension linear harmonic oscillator. Thus the energy ion values and ion function of one dimension harmonic oscillator calculated through variational method in the ground state and the first excited state are the same as obtained by solving Schrodinger equation of the harmonic oscillator. 
Thus, we come to the end of the calculation. Thank you so much for watching.